Yo, what's going on, squad? I'm back like I never left, because I never left. No, but seriously, how are you guys? And for my Canadians, how's your Thanksgiving? More importantly, how's your Thanksgiving deuce? But tomorrow morning, I'm going back to Ottawa for a bit, so I figured I might as well film a quick little video and keep you guys updated. While I'm there, I'm not going to be able to edit videos, so I don't want you guys to think I'm going to go ghost. I'll be filming a lot while I'm there. Trust me, buddy. Let's have a little story time. So once upon a time, January 1st, 1991 to be exact, some lucky ass doctor had the honor of bringing your boy into this world. I only cried when I was born because thugs cry sometimes. It's nothing to be embarrassed of. Fast forward to high school because everything before that's pretty boring. I went to St. Pat's, which is a high school in Ottawa, and that's where I met a lot of the friends I have now. As far as Albo goes though, I think I met Jad at some mutual friend's party in high school. Charlie and Zach have known since like grade four. And Dave and Sean, I met in high school. High school was a time, bruh. Mad memories. After high school, I met this wonderful girl named Vanessa, and we connected on so many levels, it was almost impossible to not eventually fall for her. For the past few years, I've had maybe three different sets of friends. I had work friends, I had friends who I filmed videos with and worked and grinded with, and then I had friends I drove around the city with and did whatever we do in Ottawa at night. All three of these groups were all family to me though, and I think I did a pretty good job of balancing them throughout the years. A little time passed and honestly I just started feeling stagnant in Ottawa. Luckily Vanessa was feeling very similar so we just up and moved away. This was a huge step for three reasons. We moved out of our family homes, we became a couple that lives together, and we both moved out of the city that we grew up in. Yo, this isn't one of those whole like, oh I came into this country with eight cents in my left pocket and a dream and I made it kind of situations. I definitely saved up a bunch of money before coming here. I even had to swallow my pride and get a really shitty but high paying job just so I can afford to come here. Before I moved, Dave was really pushing me to start a YouTube channel. Like every couple weeks he would just hit me up like, why haven't you made one yet? Are you making one yet? Are you gonna make one? Film one right now, show me. Show me what it looks like. I guess he just figured I had the chops. I kept making excuses every time you ask until finally I couldn't really dodge the situation anymore and I just made one. I never would have thought that like three months later I'd have over 3,000 subscribers. That's, that's crazy. I haven't even taken it in yet. But yo, I can stay up till two, three in the morning editing videos all I want. I can release videos all I want. Cause realistically, I could drop a video and it could get no views. So this is all you guys. Your support has been almost overwhelming. It's been pressuring me into putting videos out more often, learning how to edit better, faster, more efficiently, and just pretty much enjoy what I'm doing. Dave and I wake up super, super early every single morning against both of our wills. So we tend to have these little morning chats. The other day I was telling him how this YouTube thing is getting super exciting and he said something that I couldn't agree with more. Being a YouTuber becomes almost an addiction. And I'm not just saying like, oh, once you're huge and have a million subscribers, you just love being a YouTuber. It's not even that because I'm a very small YouTuber and I already have that like fiendish feeling of putting out videos. So I think it's just about your support group and how strong they are and how much they ride for you. You just feel like everyone has your back and you want to just continuously give them what they want. Trust me, if I didn't have to work so much to live in this damn condo, I'd be putting even more time into it than I already do. But hey, if I ever do get to the point where YouTube is making it so that I don't have to work for anyone else and I can devote 100% of my time into this, ooh wee! I'm gonna be firing off videos like mod. Anyway guys, I just wanted to drop a little video on you. I just came back from the gym. I'm starving. I'm gonna go flick the wrist back there in that kitchen and get ready for this trip tomorrow. And yo, by the way, if you guys want to get more personal with me, you know, besides just these YouTube videos, I definitely recommend you follow me on Twitter and or Instagram. I'm a straight savage on both of them and you might get a laugh out of it. You guys are the best fan base ever. Say it with me. Don't sleep, fam. I might sit there and wait for it. I'm not here for no attention. Just walk in with a girl that's making triple wanna make it one of these special. Go and grab that fib, grab that ape, grab what you need Blow that dope, don't get too high From the third coast to the west coast, come take this ride Let me tell it, tell her how Jack turns Scott 